Assault on Lethal. So I haven't played in weeks, but before that I'd like to think of myself as a competent assault player. I almost never died in Ruthless and felt like I had a great grasp on the game's mechanics. Not dying in Ruthless is really good. Ruthless can still be pretty hard, but I, I just recently started beating Ruthless as well. So I I'm pretty much ready for Lethal. I just don't have a good level for it yet. Come lethal mode, I really just can't get into my rhythm. I get melted so fast and the shotgun nids never get staggered and I get killed in two hits. So this dude's getting two shotted by shotgun mobs. <clears throat> okay, as it, uh, okay, so I just started playing assault. I haven't really played assault in PVE yet, at least not on Ruthless, but that two armor really, really makes the class feel uh, basically like a glass cannon, except maybe like I don't know if the cannon is super <laughs> it's super accurate either. Well, you know what, in PvP, I, I would say it's a glass cannon, yeah. I feel like flying when there's a bunch of ranged units is just death. Is there something I need to adjust because I feel like I'm not doing anything different from my usual playstyle, which has been serving me really well thus far. So, okay, I, I, the flying thing. So when you're in, in the air shooting, I feel like people don't, like, they, they underestimate how fragile you are up there. I, I see players recommend assault players play like that in PvP. Um, I would try it out in PvP. If it's working, continue to do it. If they shoot you down, don't do it again. <laughs> because someone's keeping an eye on that sky, and if you jump up in the air with a pistol, you're going to get shot with a sniper. Or even any tactical weapon. So, you got to be careful with that. Assault is a, uh, uh, it's such a fun class, man. I am constantly on the fence of if it needs a nerf or if it needs a buff. It definitely needs adjustments. I'm not 100% sure if repeating three jumps in a row is a great game loop. I gotta be honest. However, I would trade if, okay, so <laughs> in case you guys haven't realized, this is a uh, discussion on the assault balance. If, if I had any sort of way to adjust assault, I would give it one or two jumps make sure the cooldowns uh reflect the fact that you can do like a jump like i don't know maybe every 30 seconds or something you shouldn't be able to just repeat it like jump up in the air land jump up in the air land like that just feels very spammy and i don't really like the uh play style on that even as a player who uses assault now what i would trade off for that is uh i've seen somebody mention it in a different post that we are going to go over Apparently, a nice buff would be damage resistance in the air. That would be interesting. Not too sure how that could apply to PvP, but in PvE, that could definitely be something that should be arranged. Like, frankly, that sounds like it should have been in the game, if, at, at least as a perk. But yeah, uh, yeah, let's go over it. Let's go over people freaking out about assault's balance in higher difficulties. <laughs> you versus the assault pack brother tells you not to worry about. <laughs> What is that title, dude? Assault pack and PvP. Smile. Assault pack and operations. Not smile. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the assault pack and PvP is very fun. Assault needs damage resistance while airborne. Using your ability is all but a death sentence on lethal difficulty. The easiest solution I can think of is to give the class damage resistance, preferably 100% while airborne, so practically half damage. Any thoughts, welcome. Um... Half damage is interesting. Uh, it should definitely be a perk. I can't see... I don't know. Like I said, like I don't think you should be able to spam the jump attack, but you sh there should be a trade-off. Like For PvP, it would be easy just to like buff melee or something, but in lethal difficulty, if you jump up in the air and you're getting shredded, 50% 50, 50 less damage isn't going to do a lot. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it will. But at the same time, I, I just, I don't know. There, there really should be a perk for that. Like if you're in the air shooting, maybe ninety percent damage reduction, something like that. Uh, but again, it, there has to be a trade-off with how often you can jump. I don't know. This is good. This is a good idea, though. Let's, uh, let's see if people can uh, cook up something. Stagger resistance would be nice too. Getting shot in the air and just awkwardly dropping back down to the ground is pretty sad. <laughs> Stagger resistance. Oh, okay. So like, yeah, if, if you're in the air, it's harder to shoot you out. Again, I don't, I don't know. That makes sense. That, that's still a good suggestion. It, it, 
either way, I think everyone agrees that you are way too fragile when you just jump up in the air. I don't think he needs damage resistance, just stagger resistance. And maybe iframes when he's descending back to the ground? Okay. No, that's something. But again, again, the, uh, I mean, everyone's mostly talking about lethal difficulty here. I just, if, if the assault gets iframes while dropping back to the ground in PvP, that's a problem. That is not going to be able to be a thing. That's why I keep suggesting uh, buffing certain perks on assault or maybe changing something, you know? Um, but still, for PvP, jumping up in the air, landing, jump on, jumping up, landing, jumping up, you know, it, it can get pretty annoying. I think many players find their signature final column perks to be a bit lackluster. Changing one of them to be a damage reduction when airborne perk could be very viable. Yeah, so, yep, everyone's basically aiming towards the, the perks being buffed. That makes sense. That makes sense. I enjoy Assault on Ruthless and Lethal a lot. You have to keep in mind that the jetpack, as fun and cool as it is, isn't just for air slamming into enemies from above. Yes, that's the power fantasy we all love and enjoy when doing it, but using it for dodging and creating distance, as well as dashing into enemies, is essential to the class as is the airborne attacks. Okay. Oh, here we go. I like it. I like it. Try using the jetpack according to the situation. If you see the green sniper line when they take aim at you or your team, you have to adapt and refrain from using the air attack until the snipers are dealt with. Yeah, I mean, he's right here. 100% right. Or only tap the melee button while airborne, so you don't hang midair forever while charging. Personally, I prefer the hammer for aesthetic reasons, but the power fist is better, in my opinion, against majors and extremists. I mean, I, I can see that. That makes sense. Honestly, I'm, I'm a big believer in, in, in most cases, there is going to be a... There's, there's going to be something that you are in control of as a gamer to get out of these situations, for the most part. I do I do agree that the Assault definitely needs some sort of, I don't know, airborne protection. But at the same time, this guy's right. If you just take out the snipers, you don't have to worry about that. So, <laughs> I don't know. That's a fair enough point. It's fair enough. I honestly have some of the best PV, PvP moments with Assault. It was dead brain easy just spam jump up and hammer down until dead and most <laughs> yeah okay okay uh <laughs> yeah just the spam the jump hammer down until everyone's dead sounds sounds easy to do right uh for the most part people are going to notice you jumping in the air eventually uh good pvpers will notice it immediately um spamming it is the one way to get people off your back when shooting you in the air however i just don't i really don't feel like that's a good loop for either someone who's playing assault or people who are playing against assault uh i like i like assault being very precise you know like you're in a position where they don't see you you jump up in the air they see you too late and then you slam down that's how i see the assault but from what this guy's explaining it sounds like he just gets on point jumps up and down and then eventually hit somebody you know i don't know um but for the most part yeah playing assault playing assault on pvp while spamming the jump attack or not is very fun it was brain dead easy just spam jump up and hammer down until dead and most don't have their controllers on so they can't auto aim perfectly to counter me yeah, controllers hello see that's what i'm saying <laughs> Bruh, I am not shooting you in the air with the controller. I'll tell you that much. That's crazy. A letter to Saber regarding assault. Now, I'm not reading this entire thing. Uh, however, I did skim through it, and there is a TLDR at the end that I feel like is very, uh, very nice. Nicely worded. This entire thread is actually really good. Um, yeah, so this guy has a lot to say about assault. And let me just scroll by it real quick to show you guys. <laughs> That's a lot of words. I'm not reading them. <laughs> okay, but I will read the conclusion. In conclusion, I don't think Assault is a bad class, and I don't agree with a lot of the common criticisms, namely comments on the jump pack and the talent tree. Wow, okay. Good start. You have uh, consenting opinions, but I have a feeling this is from, you know, a very thought-out place. So, they're cooking. Let's see. 
in my opinion, betray the fact that people haven't sat with the class and don't understand the strengths and weaknesses beyond an initial surface level reaction, interesting, or beyond the sens sensationalist headlines they read and hear on Reddit and YouTube. Okay, so he's saying that if, he's saying that a lot of the assault criticism's overblown, <laughs> basically. Uh, interesting. I don't think many of the commonly suggested changes, like being able to hover like you can in PV PvP, would really have any effect on the strength or viability of Assault in PvE. I don't know, though, but I, I have a feeling he definitely understands the stagger problem. I I, I could see where being able to get staggered out of uh, the air super easily is a problem. Um, but okay, let's, let's see what they're cooking. That's not to say that the class is perfect or that no changes need to occur, just that the right things need to be changed and in the right way in order to actually benefit the class. In this post, I have attempted to comment on each aspect of the Assault class and in detail, in gratuitous detail, yeah, definitely, the strengths and weaknesses, and what I think could or should be improved on. Assault, as it stands, is an extremely mobile, extremely fun, and frankly extremely strong class that has no problem completing even the hardest difficulties without an issue. Okay. I, 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 like, agree with you for the most part, but I think what you are saying, like, there's no problem completing the hardest difficulties, I think what what you are kind of picturing here is somebody who's playing Assault class perfectly. They kind of outlined that a little bit in the beginning by saying that there's a lot of people who talk about Assault who are playing it poorly. Um, but I, as much as I agree with that, I also, I don't know, I also disagree that we should consider the best possible Assault for balance. <laughs> we should consider like maybe the average assault and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see uh, what their suggestions are. It would be all too easy to overcorrect and make assault way too strong if changes are made without accurate consideration. I 100% agree with that. Yes. Yes. Assault and uh, like I say, I I'm on the fence for assault being like buffed or nerfed. I can see both, you know, both suggestions, and there's definitely something that uh, could be fixed in PVE, at least in PVP. He might be, he might be just fine. I just think the, uh, you know, the spamming, the jump up and down needs to be adjusted for sure. But I don't know. In summary, my recommendations are: address the finicky and difficult nature of the jump pack targeting. Rec Wait, hold on. Excuse me, sorry. Address. The finicky and difficult nature of the jump pack targeting retistal. I don't know why I can't read this word. Rectile? <laughs> Rect <laughs> Rectical? Oh, maybe rectical? To allow for better ease of use of targeting system. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> oh, you guys can see why I didn't graduate college, right? <laughs> uh. Yeah, sometimes it can be hard to aim uh, the pistol. Yeah, sometimes. Interesting, though. I really just, when I jump up in the air as a soul and then try to aim the pistol and, you know, get some shots in, the issue with me is I feel like if I shoot too much, they're going to start to zero in on me. So I kind of just try to jump up, shoot a couple times, throw a grenade, and then slam. Something like that. The, the actual functionality of the jump pack and ground pound are fine. Yeah. Well, for the most part, yeah. Separate the jump pack dash from the jump pack entirely to address various conflicts between the two and hopefully bring the jump pack dash and thereby all jump pack dash talents into relevancy um no idea what he's talking about here not like i i, just, I know what the dash is i never had an issue really like i never had any conflicts between the two there's like a couple times where i noticed where, where i was like oh i didn't hold in the q button long enough but like that's the only thing if you need a jump, hold in the Q button. If you need a dash, just press press it real quick, you know? Address various weak talent options as detailed above. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, a couple people mentioned, you know, some of their weak uh, perks need to be adjusted. Particularly, the three signature talents, which seem to be the weakest. So his signature talents are bad? <laughs> That's rough. If you read this far, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> didn't read all of it, but... Fair enough, I agree with two-thirds of what they're mentioning here. I, I, I genuinely don't think the dash and jump pack are a priority at all. I think the adjustments to how often you can use them is, you know, more in line to what people are looking at. Uh, 
And yeah, the talent options are bad. People are suggesting, you know, jumping up in the air, having a little bit of more poise, not being able to be staggered. That all makes sense. That all makes sense. So ultimately, this guy kind of agrees with most people that are talking about assault, even though he said a lot of people think it's very weak, which I, I don't know. Like the assault class is definitely not weak, right? It's just there's certain awkward things about it that people want to adjust, I think. I think that's the most accurate way to talk about it. But it does seem that the signature the signature talents are weak, so. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting.